Okay, here's a demo that we've designed for uh, Series Circuit Labs to show you all the elements and how they relate. And just to show you the setup, we have a battery eliminator, which is uh, instead of a battery, but it's adjustable, so I can change all the way down from 1.5 to 13 volts. We have green ammeters. The ammeters are not necessarily green. We've just kept these to be consistent. And the yellow ones, we've hooked up as voltmeters. This is where the battery's coming in. You'll see that these two right here, there's a break there that belongs to the ammeters. Ammeters must break the circuit and voltmeters are over the top of the resistors. Now notice we have three different, we have actually four different resistors. We have 75 and 150. So this one is half of this one. This one is just a little bit less than half of this one. And this one right here is a variable resistor so that I can change the resistance in the circuit. Let me move these out of the way and then we can start turning things on. <clears throat> these are gonna go to 200 milliamps. I'm going to turn this on for now, just for a particular reason. 20 volts, 200 milliamps, 20 volts. I'm going to turn this one to 20 volts first, and notice these are off. Why are they off? Because there's no resistance occurring, or there's no current flowing yet, because that one was not on. Now, let's go ahead and double check what we've got going here. This, for some reason, something else not. That was my problem there. I can cut that out later. All right, so now we've, now let's look at what we have. If we look, let's look at all of the ammeters first. Notice all of the ammeters read the same. Think about this. There's only one path in a series circuit for the uh, electrons to flow. Think about this like a freeway. If there are no on-ramps and no off-ramps, there's no way for there to be extra current or for the current to disappear. It's got to, whatever is in one has got to go through the others. Now, we always say that the current is the same everywhere in a series circuit, but it can change. And let me show you how we can do that. Let me get this to where you can see it a little bit better. All right, so watch as I increase the voltage. Notice the current went up on all three. I'll decrease the current. By decrease, sorry, I'm decreasing the, the push, the battery push. If the battery is supplying less voltage, then the current is less everywhere. If I increase the voltage, the current goes up everywhere. Watch what happens as I increase the resistance. I increase the resistance, I'm restricting the flow of current, and it all backs up. So if you change the resistance somewhere in a series circuit, it changes the current everywhere. Now let's focus up on these uh, resistors. Notice this resistor has half the voltage of this resistor. And notice they have a two to one ratio. This is always true. If the resistance is twice the resistance of another, it will have twice the voltage. Let's prove that. I'll decrease the voltage, 1.2.6. I'll decrease the voltage again. Pretty close to one, pretty close to a half. Now notice down here, this one's a little more than double of this one, but it's a little bit more than double the resistance. Watch as I change the resistance instead to control the current. Again, half of this one, a little bit less than half of this one. Again, the voltage is always proportional to the resistance and the current is the same everywhere in a series circuit.